The night's snow is only going to add to what's on the ground, and with temperatures set to climb above freezing this week, flooding is a real possibility. Ingham County and local cities have been preparing for the thaw, and as Anthony Sabella reports, there are things you can start doing now to keep the inside of your home dry. At Stay Dry Basement Waterproofing, it's not a matter of if. But when? This week we, we've added extra staffing for the extra traffic that we're going to get. Looking past a snowy Monday and into the rest of the week, temperatures into the 40s and with them the potential for flooded homes. To avoid having a mess in your basement, Chaz Carrillo suggests preparing for a melt now. It starts with checking to make sure your sump pump is working. You can unplug it, plug it back in uh, to see if it runs that way. Otherwise there's something called a float that's on it and you can lift that up to trigger it to make it go on. A bigger problem for homes in low-lying areas, says Lansing Public Service Director Chad Gamble. People can check their, their sump pumps, their, their floor drains, making sure if they have a black flow preventer that that's, it's, it's been maintained. If they are susceptible to flooding, they may want to raise any items that they have on the basement floor up a little bit. In the meantime, Lansing is focusing on city streets, clearing drains and catch basins, although constant plowing has made that difficult. That there is somewhat of a limitation to what we can do, but we're going to do our very best to make sure our system is functioning well and, and the catch basins are as clear as they possibly can be. On the other end is the Grand River, where Ingham County Drain Commissioner Patrick Lindemann is focusing efforts, clearing the drains leading into it. If you declare war on water, water will always win. So we have to work with it, and it wants to go downhill, and we're going to have to get everything out of its way. It could be the key to keeping our streets and homes dry. In Lansing, Anthony Sabella, Fox 47 News. Lindemann says Ingham County already has crews on call to address flooding both on the streets and inside of people's homes.